Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Adonis FX. In this tutorial, we are going to show how to apply the Adonis Simskin Solver. We will see how to use Adonis Paint Tool to define the wrinkled and sliding areas of the skin. Let's get started! To apply Simskin, we will need a target mesh and a mesh to apply the skin deformer onto. We will call it Simulated Mesh. The target mesh will be used to drive the dynamics of the simulated mesh. In this example, the target mesh is a geometry deformed by the animation rig. Now, let's create the skin solver. First, select the target mesh, then select the simulated mesh. Finally, click on the Adonis Skin Shelf button. Let's check the simulation results. We can see that the simulated mesh perfectly follows the target mesh. This is normal as we still need to paint the attributes that will help us customize the simulation results. So let's move on. First, make sure to reset the animation by moving to the start frame. Now, select the simulated mesh and open the Adonis FX Paint Tool. From the drop-down list, select the Soft Constraint Map. Let's start by flooding the entire geometry with a value of 0.2. This will allow the vertices of the simulated mesh to follow the target and generate wrinkles. Let's now switch to the Hard Constraints Map. Flood the entire geometry with a value of 0.35. Then paint the areas of the simulated mesh that need to be attached to the target mesh with a value of 1. This will keep those vertices firmly attached during the simulation. Let's move on now to the Slide Constraints Map. This map will help you define the areas where you want the simulated mesh to slide. The higher the value, the more those vertices will slide over the target mesh. The scapulas, shoulders, elbows, and knees are the parts of the body where you would want the skin to have some kind of sliding. Finally, let's adjust the sliding distance multiplier. Make sure to give a value of 1 on the sliding areas painted before. For the rest of the surface, keep a value of 0. This will optimize the computation of the sliding constraints without losing quality. Let's see the results of the simulation now. As you can see, we have more dynamics and wrinkles in the painted areas. You can also reduce the amount of wrinkles in certain areas by adjusting the compression resistance map. Let's try that. Select the simulated mesh and reopen Adonis's paint tool. Then select the compression resistance map. By decreasing the value of the compression resistance, you will be able to reduce the wrinkles of a selected area. Let's check the results. And that's all. This is a simple setup for skin simulation, but there's still more you can do with Adonis FX. Stay tuned for more tutorials about skin simulation. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.